Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome frame arms kit here. This is one that I've wanted to check out for a long time. I love this design, so I've been waiting for it. This is the Werewolf Spectre RE. This is a variant of the Gorai, so like the main base kit is mostly just kind of the same as the Gorai. It's got some different colors, obviously, and some different equipment on there. So it's very cool looking. I really am excited for this. So it's a pretty awesome kit. This is, once again, the rebuild edition, so it's just the re-release with the kind of updated frame. Otherwise, there's not really going to be much difference from this or the regular edition. But as you can see, you got some cool box art here. It's got these big shields on the uh, shoulder with some weapons in there, some missile pods, stuff like inside the shoulder, and it's got these big cannons, and it just looks really cool. This is number 13 in the frame arms line. If we go around here onto the side, just kind of got the same thing there once again. So let's head down here to the bottom of the box. Here you can see the look at the front and back of that. It's got this head unit, which is very similar to like the uh, Hazel, the advanced Hazel the head unit that it has on there, so really kind of similar look to that. It's got this black color scheme that of course is just really intimidating, cool looking. And I just love all the new equipment for this, the cannons, the shields, or anything. It's got some new parts there on the legs, everything looks very cool. So once again, inside the shields, you've got cannons inside the shield and missile launchers, so missile pods inside the shields there as well. So you've got some cool stuff, things armed to the teeth. And here's just pointing out what's exactly new about this. So new shield parts, new head, a new cannon, a new, uh, I'm not really sure what it's pointing to there. Obviously the knife is not new. Pointing to the hand, the hand doesn't look new either. So I don't know, anyway. And of course those parts on the front of the leg fold down for when it's in its kind of artillery mode there, firing that, it's got that for extra support. It doesn't have the tank treads on the back of the leg. Instead it has these extra support bits there, which I think are much more interesting looking. Never really been a big fan of the tank treads on the back of the legs of the Gorai. I much prefer this design, so that's very cool. Going around to the other side, there's nothing really much to see here, except if we go over here, the list price is 3,800 yen, so not too bad at all. As you can see, this is a pretty thick box, very deep, so it should be a lot of stuff in here. It does feel pretty heavy as well, so 3,800 yen, I think about $35, $40 for this is not too bad. So here is our pre-assembled architect frame, but we're gonna be taking, usually like the like first step of the manual is taking this apart, so it's not really too much of a point for this to be pre-assembled. They might as well just give it to you on the runner so you can build it yourself, but it's just kind of a gimmick of these kits, basically. And then we've got some parts over here, which looks like there's going to be some leftover parts from the Gorai. You can see some uh, kind of tank tread parts. That section full, and then you've got this section over here you can pull out with just a few more runners over here. Again, uh, just, it's just kind of a gimmick of these frame arms boxes that they usually separate the runners. They have these like, kind of useless separators inside there, but anyway, underneath all of that is at long last our manual. Let's take a look at this. Here at the top, you just gotta look at just a painted model sample build there. And then down here, some awesome illustrations of that as well. I know it's black, so not the easiest thing to see, but the illustrations there do look really cool. A bunch of text here in Japanese, uh, specifications down here. On the back, a breakdown of the color guide for this. Again, it's basically like black, black, uh, black. Uh, it's two different dark grays actually, but it's kind of mostly black and off black. White, and that is pretty much it. A bunch of little, small, tiny little color apps for different things. That's pretty much all there is. But it's all in Japanese, we can translate that easy enough. Opening up to the front page, we've just got our parts list all here. And then just on through the construction. And this is kind of interesting here. It looks like steps 1 through 15 is you kind of build the base kit there. And then you have where you're building it up. Uh, kind of into this first form and then you build it up into like the full-on frame arms or the werewolf specter here but Then you do also have steps 43 to 54 show you how to just build the Gorai So it looks like you do have all the parts to build just the regular Gorai with this if you wanted a black Gorai you can make it with this kit so kind of interesting that they even give you the, all the steps to make that and all the parts and everything So if anyone was wondering if you have all the parts to make a Gorai from this you apparently do So it just goes through all the steps for that but here at the center there's always some more uh, useful information here. Battle graffiti, here is where it explains the backstory. So I've been people I've had people asking about the backstory of these frame arms kits or what are frame arms in general. People aren't really too familiar with them. Is there an anime? Is there a manga or anything? There's not. This story that's included in the manual is pretty much all you have to go off of for these. So these are you can find these uh, someone recommended finding the translated text of these or summarizations of these uh, on Reddit. There's a Reddit frame arms uh, section there where you can go and find summaries of these battle graffiti sections from these kits apparently. So check that out if you're interested. Anyway, over here, some information there about the equipment as well, the cannons, 
the other cannons, the missile pods, the knife, all of that is all highlighted here with some text, again, all in Japanese. And then just finishes the construction, like I said, shows you how to build the regular Gorai and the weapons and all of that. So, all right, let's get into the runners. All right, so no stickers or water slide decals of any kind. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to have some markings for this, but we do have some polycaps here. PCA for just a couple of polycaps here in gray. And then runner A1 here in a very dark gray. They're almost black, essentially, with some Gorai parts. And then we've got runner A2 as well, which is just some more parts for the torso and body head parts on here as well. Runner B1 as well, some more armor parts in the same color. And we've got two of this B1 runner. And the same thing for runner B2 here as well. We've got two of this one also. And runner C here, this one is definitely just in straight up black. Again, still parts from the original Gorai. And then runner D, a few little head parts here in black as well. Runner E is getting into some of our weapons parts. This looks to be like a really dark navy color, slightly different from the first couple runners we saw. We've got two of this E runner. Same thing here for runner F1 as well. We've got two of these. And runner F2 as well. Here, once again, we've got two of this one also. Then runner G here, obviously some parts for the cannons, which is unfortunate because as you can see, you're gonna have a big seam line all the way right down the center of those cannons, which is a little bit annoying. And then we've got two of this G runner as well anyway. Runner H, obviously just a couple little parts here in white. Runner I, a few parts here in gray for basically the weapons parts that go on the inside of the shields and looks like probably our shield mounting parts there as well. And last but not least, Runner V here is our generic frame arms, kits, hands. And maybe this is what they were talking about new about this is that this is in the uh, really bright, super shiny gunmetal color for some reason, which it would be kind of cool if like some other parts, but because it's only the hands, it's gonna look a little bit weird. If like some of the other joint parts and things, like the frame, well, I guess the frame is also in a uh, gunmetal. It doesn't seem to be quite as shiny though, but all right, anyway, I guess as long as it matches the frame, then they're okay. But anyway, you've got the hands here in shiny gunmetal and that's it. All right, and so with it being the end of Frame Arms Month here, we're going to be live streaming the build of this guy. So if you guys want to watch the live build, just make sure you follow my other social media so you can stay tuned for the updates on that. Otherwise, aside from the live build, I'll have the review coming up soon, shortly after that. So if you just want to skip the live build and just watch for the review, I'll have that up for you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, of course, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Or if you're going to watch the live build, you can just ask them live. And as always, guys, thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.